What's up guys, uh, welcome to your 11th tutorial. Again, thank you for subscribing and giving me those thumbs up and all that good stuff. And thanks for also for the requests you guys have been giving me. Um, I've gotten quite a few requests of stuff that you guys want to learn. Um, but we're still going to go on kind of a slow pace. I'll get to that stuff later. Um, but someone mentioned that they want to be able to make a sound when we click the button. Uh, so we have like a button sound every time we click it. And I thought that was a good... A uh, good idea because then we can kind of review uh, the last few tutorials that we've done and you, you'll understand the stuff a little bit better or how to set that up if you're still confused. So um, basically what I did is I imported a new sound and I named it button underscore click and you want it to be mp3. Uh, you can use like wave files but I tried using one earlier and it was giving me all sorts of problems. So a uh, website I'd, I'd suggest is just uh, soundj.com. That's where I got this sound from. And then you, they got all sorts of sounds you can use. And I just did buttons. And uh, you can listen to those. Pick one you like. I made mine. Um, I made sure my sound was short. Like this one's like three seconds. That's kind of long for a button click. But I just picked this seventh one. And it's a small... It's a small file, um, which is also another benefit opposed to using a WAV file, which is a little bit bigger. And then you want to save that into your RAR folder that we set up. And then if you just go project uh, clean, it will uh, realize that it's there. And now what we want to do is we want to have our button, when you click it, it plays a sound. You guys kind of uh, have an understanding of buttons and you kind of have an understanding of sound. Sorry, my phone's like going off right now. So those are going to be some concepts that you understand a little bit about. And today we're going to kind of put them together so you have a little better understanding. And we're going to go into our onCreate method of our MyMenu class. And something I haven't explained yet is you can leave comments to yourself because if we have like thousands of lines of code, it's going to be hard to like remember or look through. So you can leave comments to yourself by doing two backslashes. And when you run the file, it will just skip over these because it knows it's just a comment to yourself. We're just going to say, set up the um, button, button sound. Okay, so now under here, we can uh, set up what we need for a button. Basically, we're going to have to describe a new media player variable. And we're going to set that equal to our button click sound. And then on click, we're going to set up for a button to play. So only when it's clicked, it will play that sound. And again, this is a reference for button one. I'm just kind of going over some of the stuff we did last week. Because this is still kind of confusing, I'm guessing, for you guys. But uh, anyways, that's what we're going to try and do. And first thing we need to do is set it up as a media player a media player variable again, and we're going to call this MP button click. I just do that because it's media player, and this is when we click the button sound. And again, it won't recognize media player, so we're going to have to import that class to our project, and we're going to have to set this equal to what we want it to be equal to, obviously. So what we're going to do is just do media player because it's taking it from the media player class and we're going to use uh, the create. So it's going to be create and then we just have to reference what we want our reference to be. So r dot rar dot uh, button click and then just set your semicolon. Oh yeah, I forgot the context. Uh, again, the context is going to be this. So, uh, basically what this is, I know I, I should have just explained this last week, whenever we did this. Um, this is just going to say, hey, I'm going to use it, the instance of this object. So, it's pretty much, um, you know, basic English. The context is this. So, uh, that's what the context is going to be, and then our resource is going to be the button click sound. Yeah, we set up our MP button click, but we haven't used it yet. Again, I just want to talk through this real quick. We set up a button called B Tutorial 1, and we set its view identification, or find, we found its identification 
from uh, our reference that we set up in the XML. And then we uh, did button one dot and we set up on click listener. And within the parameters, we had to set up a new on click listener which had on click within its brackets. So basically, what you need to know is when we click, it's going to do this stuff. And what we want this to do is just play our uh, play our MP button click. And to do that, you just do MP button click dot start. And we're going to get an error. Again, start's just a method, but we're going to get an error because, uh, and if you hover over it, it says it's not a final variable. So basically, what we want to do is we want to set this variable to be final so like we can't change it later when we say final it's going to say it's going to lock this in and then therefore we can use it in these sub methods otherwise it won't allow you to use it in the sub methods um, another another thing just to review is we could just have uh, we could also do this within your activity class we can set up the media player um, mp button click and that should also uh, work because it's referencing all those in blue. But just to do something new, um, we're going to use the final. And the only difference is, is when we say final, it's we're still defining this variable within the onCreate class. So we couldn't use it in um, the other classes like on resume and all that. But uh, since we're only going to use it, on the on create class because that's where we set up our button that's where it's going to be used final media player and then we're, there we go then when we run it um, our button will be clickable and it will make a sound and again this will just be for the first button because that's where our on click listener that we set up was only set up for our first button and so now when we click this is going to give us our, our little sound that we set up. And go back. Pretty cool, huh? But uh, again, my emulator is slow, so it's not really working awesome. But uh, now I'm just going to set up our second button as well. Just kind of go over the button setting, uh, setting up the buttons again. And I'm just going to do this by saying... Um, button one here and then um, button two and it's give us error because we've already defined what B tutorial one is we're going to set this up to be tutorial two and we're going to identify it by uh, the tutorial two and we also have to change this because we don't want our on click listener to be the same or we want our button two to actually do something right here we're just defining it this is gonna set it up to do something when it's on click and we're still just gonna have the same thing so it's gonna open up our tutorial one Java for now once we create a new activity we can change that but uh, yeah basically we set up our second button uh, you just wanna make sure that your reference in XML is tutorial two and everything should be working perfectly now thanks again for watching and have a good day.